this video will be about some uh, properties of homomorphisms. Um, so we are looking at some structural uh, features of G and G prime that are preserved by a homomorphism. Definition. Let phi be a mapping of a set x, this x should be a big x, into a set y. Okay. And let a is a subset of x and b is a subset of y. The image phi of a of a in y under phi is this set phi of a such that a is in a. Okay, so we are calling this phi of a the image of A. The image of A in Y under the mapping phi, under this homomorphism. The set uh, phi of x, I'm using here this uh, square brackets, okay? The set phi of x is the range of phi, okay? phi of x, so all the images of x mapped into y, is the range of phi. The inverse image, so the inverse image, we will denote it by phi inverse of b, so the inverse image of b denoted this way, in x, the inverse image will go back to x, is x in x such that phi of x uh, is uh, in b. Okay, so uh, we have g with an operation, g prime with an operation prime, okay, and we have phi, a mapping from a set x into set y. Okay. So, so this would be, I'm going to call g, I'm going to call x, g prime, I'm going to call y. Okay. I will have a subset here, a, this is this a, a in x, and I will have a subset here, b, b in y, b in y, subset of y the image phi of, so, phi of all this A, okay, if I pick this A, and um, if I pick this A and send it here, okay, so that will be the phi of all A, okay, the phi of A, in y under phi is every single element here this element is a so phi of a will be here okay phi of a will be here so the set phi of x phi not of but all oh, this the the if if i get all the images of this set here, x here, that will be phi of x and that will be the range, okay, so here I will have the range of phi, the range for this homomorphism. And the inverse image, I have to start erasing things here, um, so the inverse image of B 
So I pick all this B and I send it here. Um, so I pick B uh, here. I pick B and I send B back to A. The, and this will be the inverse image of B. Of course, the inverse image in X. That will be X in X, so elements X in X, such that phi of X is here in B. Okay, theorem. Let phi be a homomorphism of a group G into a group G prime. Okay, so we leave some um, properties here. Okay. One, if the identity, if E is the identity element in G, then phi of the identity is the identity E prime in G prime. So we have G here, we have G prime here. So phi being a homomorphism maps the identity in the identity and this will be the identity of of g prime okay F, uh, identity phi of the identity equals the identity okay the identity of g prime of g prime the ident this will be the identity i'm sorry the identity this will be the identity of the group g and the homomorphism will take the identity of the group G into the identity of the group G prime. Property 2. If A is in G, then the inverse image of A is the inverse of the image here. So, repeating, if A is in G, then phi of the inverse equals the inverse of e, phi of a. Okay, so we have g here, right? And here we have g prime. We pick an element a here and its inverse here. So here will be phi of a. So a is taken into here. And phi of the inverse will be this one, so this one will be taken here. Okay, phi of the inverse is this one. My question is, what, what is the inverse of phi of a? I have phi of a here, right? Okay. What is the inverse of this one? Well, the inverse will be the inverse of phi of a will be phi of a inverse. Okay. So a homomorphism takes a into phi of a and a inverse into phi of a inverse. But phi of a inverse is the inverse of this one is the inverse of phi of a. Okay, so somehow a homomorphism preserves the inverse. Okay, this element here is the inverse of this element, but look at the images. The because this one is the inverse in this group. Okay, the that nothing says that the image had to be the inverse to. Yes, but that's a property of homomorphisms. Okay, homomorphism preserves inverses. So, phi of a, that's the image of a. The inverse of phi of a is phi of a inverse. So, it's phi of a inverse, the inverse of phi of a to, of this one. 
3. If H is a subgroup of, subgroup of G, then phi of H is a subgroup of G prime. So we have G here, G prime here, um, let us say this is H and H is a subgroup of G. We have phi here, but phi is a homomorphism, right? Okay, so phi of H will be here, okay? This will be phi of H, but phi of H will also be a subgroup of G prime. So, in, in a way, not in a way, homomorphisms preserves subgroups. If H is a subgroup of G, then phi of H, the image of a subgroup, is a subgroup of G prime, of course. Four, <coughs> if K prime is a subgroup of G prime, then the inverse of K prime is a subgroup of G. Okay, so we have here K prime, right? If K prime is a subgroup of G, where K prime is a subgroup of G prime, and phi is a homomorphism. So this one will be the this one will be the inverse image of k prime right because we are taking here now okay through the inverse image the inverse image of k prime so the inverse image of k prime will be a subgroup of g Okay, repeating quickly, if the identity is the element in G, then phi of the identity is the identity is the ID in G prime. If A is in G, then the inverse image of A will be the inverse of phi of A. If H is a subgroup of G, then phi of H is a subgroup of G prime, and if K prime is a subgroup of G prime, then the inverse image of K prime as a subgroup of G. So we say phi, a homomorphism, preserves the identity, preserves the inverses, and prefer, uh, preserves subgroups.